Hello, how are you? Welcome to Stockholm, the birthplace of Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Why is it called Stockholm Syndrome? Did something happen there? Or is it completely unrelated? I might have to like react to, to that. But for now, I just want to know about Stockholm. I don't know anything <laughs> about it. I mean, literally nothing. It's the capital of Sweden. That's it. Let's go. But I, I've heard the name a million times. Mostly in the context of Stockholm Syndrome. All right, let's go. Just a two-hour flight from London is Sweden's sparkling capital, Stockholm. This it's crazy how small, like how close together Europe is. I'm jealous of that. Scandinavian treasure is made up of 14 islands on an archipelago where the Baltic Sea meets Lake Mälaren. Stockholmers tenderly call their city beauty on water. And despite being spread across the Stockholm archipelago, it is still one of the easiest cities in Europe to navigate. Connected by a network of 57 bridges, Stockholm... This is the coolest place ever. Stockholm is a joy to explore on foot, though any local will tell you the best way to get around is on two wheels. Why have I never known, like, I need to go take a vacation in Stockholm? Look at this place. Start your adventure in Gamla Stan, the medieval old town where Stockholm was founded in 1252. Drift through narrow cobblestone streets, not a billboard in sight, which have changed little in 750 years. Thanks to Sweden's new it's unbelievable. Neutrality. Like it's so beautiful, the storefronts and the small alleyways. Like there's no cars coming through here. During the Second World War, Stockholm's medieval treasures have remained pristine. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't thought about that, how Sweden was neutral, so their shit survived. That's pretty cool. But this city is more than just elegant bricks and mortar. It is a city built on ideas. Wow. At the Nobel Museum, learn about the legendary minds that put Stockholm on the map and join in the celebration of visionaries from across the globe. Rest and replenish in Stor Torget, Gamla Stan's historic central square. While you're here, partake in fika, the languid huh? Swedish ritual of slowing down and enjoying coffee and baked treats. <laughs> I, I do participate in that ritual, I just didn't know I did already. Wow, that sounds phenomenal. Is that really a coin? How tiny is Is that there for scale? This is really that small or is that coin huge? Also, what is this? What is that? What is this like lint on top of this? It's too fancy for me. Be a visit to the official residence of the King of Sweden, the Royal Palace. Marvel at the commanding bar How many dollars worth of paintings is in that room? Royal Palace. Right there, how many dollars? Marvel at the commanding Baroque style <laughs> structure and take a tour through some Rock. of its 600 rooms. Damn. If you're hoping to catch a glimpse of the royals, you may have more luck if you take the scenic hour long voyage to Drottningholm Palace. Look at the hedges. Have you ever seen more beautifully trimmed hedges? Serving as a summer retreat for most of the-, Are the Were those guys peeing? Palace. Is this guy peeing? No. This guy? No. Is this guy up here with the- well, That's a cool statue. He's got a club. Serving as a summer oh, retreat for most of the 18th century, the royal family now spend most of their time here, and it's not hard to see why. I didn't know that. The royal family lives in Stockholm. Perched on the edge of Lake Mälaren wow. yeah, and I surrounded by immaculate gardens, Drottningholm Palace is a regal oasis. Explore the gilded library and Baroque bedchamber where past queens once escaped the pressures of their royal duties. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Baroque bedchamber where. That is just jaw dropping. 
pod. Imagine sleeping there. Lost queens once escaped the pressures of their royal duties. What's that thing? A, like a baby grip? Travel back into the 21st century in Normal, a downtown area brimming with modern. historic and modern attractions, indulgent shopping options, and some of Stockholm's culinary favorites. The beloved Swedish sense of style that looked healthy but still tasty. Style is on display everywhere here, even down to the simplest cafes and shops. This legendary design prowess has resulted wow. in a city of balance where modern creations melt seamlessly into historical. There's just the right amount of people too. Not too many to where you're all bumping into each other, but there's still people. It's good. Masterpieces. At the medieval museum, Discover how Sweden's first inhabitants laid the foundations of one of Scandinavia's finest cities. Wow. What was born as an outpost to defend the country from invasion became a gleaming capital mm. characterized by elegance and sophistication. Take a 10 minute walk to the National Museum and delve through time into an era where art and creativity began to flow through Stockholm's unique identity. Before leaving Normalm, have a bite to eat with the locals in the city's living room, King's Garden. I would love to. Discover another leafy escape just minutes from downtown on the island of Jurgården. Stockholm's green. Why does the forest look more magical here? The greenest island was once the king's private hunting grounds. Today, this woodland paradise is sprinkled with historical attractions and some of the city's best. It's, it's just interesting to see forests country to country because they're just slightly different. Museums. At the Vasa Museum, gaze up at the most powerfully armed warship of the 17th century. Laden with bronze Shoot. cannons, the Vasa was a richly decorated symbol Literally. of the power of King Gustavus, the Lion of the North. However, this top-heavy warship capsized just minutes into its maiden voyage <laughs> that sucks. and vanished into the depths of Stockholm Harbour for 333 years. How mad would you be? Wow. And they got it out and it's in that condition, but damn, imagine how long that took to make. And it just capsized. Follow the sound of carnival tunes and the smell of freshly spun cotton candy to Sweden's oldest theme park, oh. Gröna Lund. This magical waterfront attraction wow. has delighted thrill seekers of all ages. That's a weird coaster. It's like 2D. Since 1883. Those people were, no, they're not real. Take a musical they're journey real. down memory lane at ABBA, the museum. I'd be concerned for them if they were. A celebration of the super troopers who took the world by storm. This museum showcases costumes, memorabilia, and concert footage of the 70s yeah. pop sensations. That's cool. <laughs> for a more contemporary look at Swedish pop culture, set a course for the island of Södermalm. Overflowing with eclectic cafe. There's more baked goods and coffee. Yes, bar. I'm down for baked goods and coffee. Bars and vintage shops. Is this guy's pants too short or is that how they wear them in Sweden? This area makes style look easy. Shop fashion and food at Horns Tool Market or be inspired by the ever changing exhibits at Fotografiska. back across the bay to Kungsholmen and experience the local tempo in this residential quarter. Though this island isn't just- It's got a very peaceful vibe, this place. What is the crime in Stockholm, like zero? Departments and coffee shops. It is also home to one of the most striking pieces of architecture in the city skyline. Topped with three golden crowns, the spire of Stockholm City Hall dominates the horizon. step into the grand and imposing Blue Hall, which hosts the Nobel Banquet Dinner each year. 
Then in the Golden Hall, admire the shimmering Queen of Lake Mälaren, a beloved. This place is like Hogwarts style, like amount of impressiveness. Symbol of sweet. It's like real life Hogwarts. Stockholm is a city which perfectly encapsulates the two vital ingredients of Swedish magic, sophistication and simplicity. Leading the way in design and innovation, yet forever faithful to its historical riches. This beauty on water ebbs and flows to its own rhythm. A rhythm that inspires the mind and stirs the soul. Now, I couldn't have said it better. I couldn't have said it even remotely as good. I love the term ebbs and flows. This path ebbs and flows. I mean, here in America, I've never walked down a cobblestone path like that. I can tell you that much. That's, if you don't expect if you're coming to America to see this right here. That is so cool. And the lack of like billboards and stuff is just inspiring. <laughs> Um, most beautiful city he's ever visited. Wow, the streets, the architecture, the history, stunning. I agree. Yeah. Unbelievable city. Wow. It looks, the fact that it's like in, uh, on the water looks like an awesome vacation spot to me. Um, everybody looks happy and relaxed. It looks awesome. And a lot of statues. <sighs> Another beautiful European city in the books. Subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll end that sentence right there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.